yeah, just for now. Okay, we're going to line a mold and make some soap. Yay! That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my um, freezer paper. And all I'm going to do is one end to the other. Fold it. Okay? Take the mold out. Set it aside. Okay. Me, I've got to fold the paper um, a little bit differently because I am such a clutch that if I don't, it will be the wrong size and I will end up throwing my paper away or doing something else with it and I don't want it to be. So I have to kind of line it up here and fold it all the way so I can cut it. Okay. I do not use the cutter on the freezer paper box because it is not accurate. I line up with swirls and I just don't like it that way. So first it's personal preference. It's however you want to do it. All right. Get that out of here. And I actually made this little neat tool. And I call it a pusher. Uh-oh. Where'd the pusher go? My goodness. And here it is. I used it out of a box of pizza. A tuck. So what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of push the paper down, make sure it covers one end to the other end on both sides. So you need to move over a little bit, one end to the other end. And we're going to take the pusher and we're going to set it in the center. Just set it in the center. You can feel it around with your fingers. Let go for a second. And just push it down into just. Okay? Just push it down in. To where it's just in there. Okay? When you pull it out, you will end up with a nice little indentation of the inside of your mold. So we're going to set that aside. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fold on the fold lines. And I like to fold just on the inside of the fold lines to ensure that the paper will go down inside the mold. Sometimes if I fold it directly on the fold lines, I have a hard time getting the paper into the mold. So you fold it all the way around. Line up your lines. I have to see where my lines are. I'm about half blind, so I have a, somebody help me all the time. All right, so now there are your folds, okay? So what I've been doing is this. You take this crease right here and you fold it right here on top, like so. Make sure it's lined up at the corner at the bottom of your fold and just voila. And you do that all the way around. So you just take this, bend it up, and it should come up on top of there. And I have to fold it over so I can see this other line. Because if you line your lines up, it'll, it'll turn out just right. So from the corner of the bottom, line it up, fold it. You got two. Okay. And then you just do that all the way around. Like so. Okay. Then what you do, you got your papers, your folds. You're going to take these little wings that you made and you're going to fold them over like such. All the way to the corner and you're going to cut this little extra flap off right here. You're going to do the same thing with the other side. Turn it over, get your lines, fold it over. Cut this little extra flap right here, and then you've got your little box. Okay. My line. 
I lost my line. Right. Like so. And then we're going to stick a little piece of tape on there. Like so. Easy peasy. And then you do the same thing to the other side. You're just trying to stand up your flaps. And as you stand it up, your flaps. Yep. Stand up. Your lines right here should match up. And what you do, you fold it over. Cut the little extra flap off there because that's going to be unsightly. And it'll be hard to work with. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Just take your lines and you fold it over. And I had to, of course, let go of it so it wouldn't fold. Like that. And then cut this little extra flap off right here. And then I'm going to stand it up and get that straightened out a little bit. And put a piece of tape there. Okay, so now you got your box. Hopefully that was all on camera. And then all you do is put it in your box. Okay. And then you take your corners here and you cut them straight down all the way around just to the wood not all the way down this will ensure that your soap will not leak inside your mold I wish I had uh, learned this technique a long time ago because as you can see I've got blue duct tape on my mold because I had a soap when I first started soaping got so hot that the oils overloaded in my mold and it soaked up in the wood and now tape will not stick to it so I had to put duct tape around it so I can at least put some tape on it. I need a piece of tape sweetheart. Okay, we're going to put a piece of tape all the way around. I usually do the long sides first like so. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. You don't have to go all the way down. Um, sometimes I'll put like a little fold in there so I can make it easier to take the um, soap out when it's pure. A lot of people will cut that off, make it look nice and neat and pretty. It don't matter. You don't really need to do that as long as it gets out of your way and just tape down. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. And mold is lined. Next up, a peacock swirl. Make sure it's 